hi, my name is Jay, and for today's video, I am going to share my Disney inspired gift guide. I love giving gifts during the holidays. Like, receiving gifts is really fun, but I really love finding gifts that I think people will enjoy, and I love seeing the smiles on their faces when they open their presents. It's it's a lot of fun for me to kind of pick out the things that I think that they will actually use and really like. So I wanted to share a Disney inspired guide for all of the Disney loving people in your life. I wanted to choose things that were different from the things that you would probably typically buy. I chose a lot of small businesses that I support and love and I wanted to kind of share them with all of you just in case you're looking for something more unique instead of buying things at like Hot Topic or like wherever you shop, Target, Walmart, places like that which is really nice obviously but if you're looking for unique original gifts, I highly suggest this gift guide. Look at it, look at it. The first thing I want to show are golden books. Now, I feel like this is definitely more of a gift guide for adult Disney fans. So hey, you know, these are actually really awesome because I grew up reading these and my friend got me this Cinderella Golden Book and I realized that I had so many of these growing up. I read them a lot and I have no idea where all of them went. So I was really excited when she got me this. And while I was looking on Amazon for gift ideas, I found this. This is everything I need to know I learned from a Disney little golden book. And it is the cutest little book that, I don't know, it brings back so many memories of reading these Disney golden books. It is beautiful. It has just wonderful illustrations, if you can see. And what's really cool, I saw that someone posted on an Amazon review. What they did was they bought one of these and they brought it to Disneyland or whatever Disneyland resort they went to and they had the characters sign this so instead of getting like an autograph book you can buy one of these and the characters can sign it and I don't know that seems like a lot more fun than getting just a normal autograph book. Number two are special Mickey or Minnie ears. Now you can definitely buy ears at the park. They have a variety of different ears that everyone will enjoy. But I think what's really cool is looking for ears on Etsy. There are so many small shops that cater to a lot of different fandoms that create these Mickey ears. So my cousin got um, Winter Soldier ears and there are so many different kinds. So if there's like a favorite character that you know that you're friend or loved one has, I think it would be really cool to get an ear that, you know, is inspired by their favorite character and give that as a gift so that it's a little bit different, something special so that, you know, when you go to a Disney park, people are like, ooh, where'd you get those ears? Those are super cute. I just got a Snapchat thing. It, let's keep on rolling. We'll do this. We'll do this. Now this next thing isn't just for Disney fans, but they do have Disney related stuff that I want to share with you today. This small business is called Boss Jewelry, Boss Jewelry, and they create like necklaces, bracelets, rings, earrings, a bunch of different jewelry from different fandoms. So there's music related stuff, there's musical related things, books, a bunch of different things that people love, and one of those things is Disney. So I have this adorable um, Peter Pan says never grow up necklace here. I have a couple of different stuff from them also. So you'll probably find something really cool on there. I love their designs. They're super unique and I think they're just really pretty. Now moving on to the more Disney inspired small businesses that I'm pretty sure that if you are, you know, in this Disney community, you already know of, but I want to share with you them with you today just in case you don't know about them. The first one is Cakeworthy. Now they just got licensed by Disney, which is really, really awesome. But if you have seen that those like snapbacks, those uh, plaid shirts with like the words on the back of them, those are Cakeworthy flannels and they are super cool. They are slightly expensive, I do have to say, which is why I don't have one. But if you are looking to splurge a little bit, I think those are really cool to give. If you have a Disney fan that loves pins and you don't want to give pins that are just at the parks, Fanflare is definitely the site to shop. 
I have like so many pins from them, so many pins, and I've given so many out to my friends, to my family, and they're just really, really cute. I think these are, again, original, which is why I included them on this list. And it's not just Disney stuff they have. They have Alexander Hamilton. They have Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. So it's things that are not just strictly for Disney fans, but they are still real cool. Next is Adorkable Apparel. I have been watching Tracy Hines since 2008. I adore her and I followed her career through YouTube and just everything that she's done and I think she is so wonderful. So of course, I had to support her when she opened up her shop. Ooh, so this is the original seashell crop top that they used to sell on their site. They recently changed their design so they don't sell these crop tops anymore. They sell more of like a boxy, flowy tee. But they still have, this is kind of like their main thing. I also have like this sweater crop top. I believe this is from their Mervamp collection. So it's this black long sleeve crew neck with shells. Now I know you can find this design in a lot of places now. But again, I think it's important to support small businesses. And Adorkable Apparel is one of the OG seashell people. So check them out. And last, but definitely not least, is Who's It's and What's It? Talked about them before, I've worn their stuff before in several videos, and I just, I love them. And for this video, I'm actually wearing one of their crewnecks right now. This is one of their recent releases. This is the second star to the right Peter Pan inspired crewneck that I love, that I bought at their recent yard sale, um, which I did a video on. One of my things about Disney apparel is that a lot of the times they just have characters splashed on the front of like t-shirts and handbags and frankly I'm not the biggest fan of those I just want something that's a little bit more subtle and I think Who's It's and What's It's does it right so it's not like outright in your face Disney hey I have Ariel right on my shirt but I think it gives this more adult vibe like I'm a cool adult Disney fan what you gonna do about it and I think it's cool when others recognize oh is that from this is that from this I think it's great so some of my favorite things that I have from them are this is actually one of my favorite things it is this reverse the curse shirt over here it's flowy and super soft it's from into the woods and I love it also this uh, black flame candle which I'm pretty sure that I've worn in a video before um, from Hocus Pocus. Again, it's a crew neck and so cool. And recently I got a bunch of hats from them. So this one I got last year actually. This is the applause snapback uh, from Aladdin. This is that genie applause sign. And then they recently came out with a line of Disney princesses. So if anyone in your life is a big like let's say Moana fan, you can get a Moana inspired hat from because it's and what's it's. <laughs> yeah, so I got a couple of stuff, which I've shown in, again in my Disney yard sale, so I'll just briefly show them again. I have Ariel, I have Merida, I have Anna, and then Jasmine. And one of the main things that Who's It's and What's It's is known for is for their Neverland beanie. This is the first thing that I got from their site, and I just, I love it. If you couldn't tell, I am a big fan of Peter Pan. Hence the beanie, hence the crew neck, hence the necklace that I have that is Peter Pan related. Yeah, they have a variety of different hats, beanies, shirts, sweaters, just a bunch of really cool things and I'm sure that you'll find something that you love. Alright, so that's it for today's video. I know that there are a bunch of other small Disney businesses that are out there. Um, and I will link more to those in the description down below. These are just the places that I actually have products from, so I wanted to share them with you. But if you know any that I didn't list, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll check them out. Alright, thank you all so much for watching for this week's video and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!